damage. I'm actually eager to check out my replay so I can... Because I'll remember stuff as soon as I see it, it's just that I haven't seen it in a while. This is actually probably a good choice, because I think I'll be able to get more out of... More out of this uh, stage than I would uh, the next stage. Deathmonds is really good. I'm looking forward to playing the sequel. It's a, it was it was really good. I actually really enjoyed it. And I actually have a lot of stuff left to do in the sequel for whatever reason. Please, I need skull things, and I forget how to get them. I think it's dependent on your shot type. You get rewarded more or less depending on what. Because I think with these you have to destroy it maybe with your target shot. Oh, I guess not. Oh well. Yeah, level one might be a little bit easy. And that might be the part of the problem, so I'm not getting like what I'm expecting because I'm used to playing at higher difficulty. That didn't feel right to me. That felt not hard enough. So that might be that might be a factor. Yeah, looking forward to Bayonetta Day. That's that's exciting. Looking forward to playing Bayonetta. I got my copy pre-ordered, so I'll hopefully be streaming that the day it comes out. Uh, let's go to the graveyard. We're just doing level one, so we'll just keep doing that. I think you're supposed to let those hit the ground, maybe. And then they turn to. Yes, there we go. That's something that you do. <laughs> that's a thing that's done. You let them turn into skulls, and they're worth more. Yeah, we're gonna hit our thousand. Thousand very soon. There we go, we're at 1,000. So now we get the, like, super crowns, which are worth all the points. There we go, and now we're spending them, so now we're getting... Right, so you use target mode to cash the moat. And get a bunch of skulls, collect them up. Well, this is looking better. This is more what we want to see. <laughs> this is what the game should look like. <laughs> it should just be a storm of skulls. That's what we want to see when we play this game. Perfect. Usually I don't do score in this stage too well. This is, there's like sort of two varieties of stages in this game. Stages that you're going to earn points in and stages that you're going to like help get ready to earn points in the next stage, so. Oh, well. And we found some old guy in the ground. Well, we earned some points, so that's a plus. That's that's definitely better than nothing. Ooh, wow. Jeez, that rock almost hit me. Oh, that rock did hit me. Stupid, creepy floor guy. I think this is another thing I like about the sequel more. It's a little bit more. It's a little bit less creepy, a little bit more cartoonish. I kind of like that. Also, another reason people don't. Li I know so many skulls. It's totally in the spirit of Halloween. Clearly, you can tell because of the amount of skulls that are on screen. Uh, what was I gonna say? Um. Actually, it's probably ideal I'm playing on this difficulty too, just because uh, just because it makes it easier to talk and play. Because 
Because <laughs> I have to admit, I've tried playing Space Shears well, uh, well streaming, and it can be very, very, very hard. Starting to like remember things, I think is the biggest part of it. Because I think the idea is, is that on like the menu, you want to kind of do stages, harder stages. Oh shit! Whoa! Coincidentally, we just reached our power mode. Just as <laughs> that thing was going to kill me. No, 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 no. We gotta destroy those things. <laughs> yes! This is what we want to see. All the points. Unfortunately, we got them all right at the very end, which is unfortunate. Now, on harder difficulties, this guy has a pattern which... Uh, is it... Like, I literally have to kill him before he does it, because I don't know the answer to the pattern. Yeah, the aesthetic of this game is a little jarring, to be honest. It's it's one of those situations where it's like, uh, this is a little <laughs> it's a little creepy. Not because of the theming, but whatever. Uh oh well. Is it Oh my goodness, the sequel the sequel is not really any better in that respect, but that said it um That said, it is a good game. Both of them are good games, so. Whoa, that was a little close. I wanted those. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be uh, cashing out in this stage. <laughs> lots of stuff in there. Also, I have to admit, I do like the fact that this game ties really in closely to uh, the sequel. Or, well, the sequel ties in really closely to this game, rather. Pardon me. They have a little bit of a story going on between the two games. But it's a, so, it's nice that they carry that over between... Uh, between the games, and the sequel actually feels like a fairly natural progression. Oh, I hate these things. Hooray, we did it. Oh, okay. This is a confusing game. <laughs> the thing is, the thing is, is I kind of want that collection, like collectors thing, though, just because of the giant box. I, for whatever reason, I'm a fan of like games with boxes. I like to collect the boxes. Keed has a copy, and. At every shoot 'em up meetup that they've held in Halifax, there's been a copy up for like winning it, and I've always narrowly missed it each time. <laughs> it disappoints me. I'm like, damn it, so close. I'm not gonna pay. I'm not gonna put the money out for it. But if I want it, I'd be like, I willingly accept this box, for collector's sake. So right now they're telling the story, which is something. <laughs> 
Ah, oh, what what is Oh, the main villain in this series. His name is Jitterbug, which is amazing. <laughs> good old Jitterbug. Do we want to do the extra gorge? Seems like a good way to die. It's really hard to my memory. Let's do it. I think I often skip it. I often skip it just for pure difficulty. Yes, right. There's no selectable difficulty on it, so you get the joys of suicide bullets and stuff like that. Ooh, jeez. Yeah, we're gonna die here. This was a mistake. Jeez, this is going rough. You got a bomb. Better bomb. Better use my bombs than to let them go to waste. Oh my god, this is just a mess. Alright. Oh shit. Ah, oh, well. That wasn't a bad run, though. We got a good piece into the game. I'm gonna watch a replay of, uh replay of my play last playthrough. Alright, and we'll see if we ranked on the leaderboard. Say replay down and be Yeah, sure, might as well. Yeah, it is a really fun game though. Uh, replay that will be saved. No, that's not probably worth saving. We can probably do better. Let's check. Do we actually place in the leaderboards? I'm surprised it doesn't show you afterwards. Uh, okay. No friend scores. We might not have placed. Oh wait, that's arcade. Oh! We don't know what we're doing. Uh, I think that was 360 mode I was playing. Um... score was, then I could probably just find it. Well, let's jump out here and go score. So it was on 360 mode. I'll watch my replay in a few seconds here. So, friends too. Oh, there we go. So... Okay. Wait a minute. Hey, it's found my scores. Okay, maybe they didn't wipe the scoreboards. Okay, well that's good. That's a good thing. Hmm. That's strange. Okay, so... I have no idea. Oh well, whatever. That's confusing. Anyways, let's watch a replay. And... Let me see here. So, I think I had one with each character. That was my plan. What is the best score here? So, Xbox 360 mode. Oh, it was... What's her name that I played? It wasn't... I was playing the wrong character for one thing. They're both good, though. Oh my goodness, so much to remember. So much that I don't remember. Really? Okay, this is completely different than what I expected. Hmm. This is absolutely bizarre. Very good shot type, though, for this game. Actually, I'm going to jump out here. 